Hey everyone, this is Crow, and I wanted to make a video um, explaining how to use my tool in a different way. It's not going to be super as extensive as my first tutorial video. And I'm not using AI, I'm just doing more casual today. So I um, just wanted to show you my tool. So as you can see, I'm manipulating the controller to basically move around in the game if you don't know what my tool is. Um, if I tap and hold down, the um, you probably can't see it, let's do that. If I tap and hold down, you can see the menu that I have. So, um, the latest update is 6.5. Um, there's not really anything new per se, but I did adjust some mouse, mouse sensitivity. So, the stutter is reduced, um, but for guys that were wondering like, hey, this stutter is horrible. Well, this whole time I was actually able to get a reasonable stutter, but it's just people don't know like how to use my tool properly. So I'll show you what I mean. So right now we're in F2 mode camera. Um, so like the best kind of, you know, tool to test it out is object free camera. So as we can see, um, there's some pretty bad stutter, just like kind of flying around the, the plane here. And you're like, Hey, that kind of sucks. Right? Well, it's because in DCS itself, here, I'll show you. I will show you. Uh, camera, or see, mouse. Okay, you see this right here? Mouse rate fast, normal, and slow, right? So this is how we're gonna make our camera smoother. So what I, what I had programmed, or what I have programmed into my controller layout is if you hit select, it makes the mouse movement slower. So see, now we have a smooth, um, nice orbit. And this has always existed in my tool. I just think guys never knew about it and never referred to my user file page where I have the input guide. Um, it's pretty vital to use to know that stuff. So this should be across the board for every uh, camera. I think for like probably a few, um, like, uh, buddy aircraft view which is what is that this um, doesn't really apply to it um, but basically um, you know so that's how we're gonna get rid of that stutter is by slowing down the mouse movement and we're just doing that in game so we're just emulating that functionality on the controller so all we're doing is hitting select and if you want the mouse to go back to its normal um, orbiting speed to kind of like speed up to where you want to get in position for a shot, just hit start and then the mouse will move fast again. Now in object free camera, what we're in right now, um, to like get the uh, keyboard to be quicker, we have to hold down the modifiers nowadays. So it's, um, it's going to be left bumper is slow panning. And I don't know why they did it like this. They changed it in a recent update used to be able to you press it and then it just was like that until you you know wanted it differently and you press a bit else but now you have to hold it down so left bumper for slow right bumper for quick okay um and yeah so that that covers the stuttering so yeah just basically just hit select whenever you want a slower mouse a slower orbit okay and then either um so i so what's funny is um, there is keyboard rate movement slow, fast, and normal still. It's still in the game, but only it only affects certain camera types. I think like F2 is is for one of them. So if we hit R1, then technically we'll like kind of move around it slower. I don't know if it's oh yeah 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 it's definitely an effect. So if I hit R1, then we can zoom in and out using the keyboard essentially, which is the left analog stick. But if we hit um, if we hit L1, then it's gonna be much, much slower. So we're slowly, slowly moving in. So yeah, it still affects certain camera types, just not all of them. Let's go to the super carrier. So when people go to the super carrier, you know, like you can use the super carrier camera if you want. I think there's, um, might be some benefits to it. Uh, let's see. Let's see if, uh, yeah, so, Oops. Yeah. So you have to hold down the modifiers in this. So it's basically like a ghetto object free camera. I'd say, um, I don't know like what um, benefit there'd be to use a super carry camera, but the thing is, since we're attached to the super carry camera, we're just going to hit object free camera, which is always going to be the top on the D pad. And now here we are an object free camera and object free allows us to be free 
from the boundary boxes, I guess. Like you can't like um, exceed the deck in Super Carrier. Like the camera doesn't let you move past it. And you can also go uh, below deck too um, if you have object to camera collision turned off. But I think that's by default now. DCS had it turned on and then they like in an update re enabled it. They're like, oh wait, why do we have that turned on? So I think that's what happened. Um, this guy's always like shiny and chrome. Like from, um, what is that movie? Um, Mad Max, he looks shiny and crow. You will ride eternal, shiny and crow. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of funny. So yeah, so object free camera um, is, is, pr is pretty darn good. And um, don't forget about the ability to raise and lower. And also kind of the last thing that people don't really know about or probably know about, I don't know, is um, free camera mode. So here we are in free camera. We're not attached to anything. Um, but what's cool is, here, let me go to a plane actually. We're going to go to free camera and see how it's flying away from us. Um, what I'm going to do is hit A, but on the stupid overlay, guys, it says it's B. So... I'm actually hitting the A key right now, but it's but it, you think that I'm hitting B for some reason. I don't know why the overlay is doing that, but what A does is going to toggle between um, the triggers zooming and toggle between the triggers as thrust. So now we're going to apply thrust and we're going to be able to fly alongside um, our friend here. And the idea would be that you kind of get to its speed, um, you know, match its speed and then bust out your track IR and then get a shot um, of the planes like flying alongside of them. And then when the planes do like a like a pill off or whatever, or like a left turn, then you kind of get them uh, turning with you. So right now we're just in free camera. And if, if I, you know, like I can't turn my head because I don't have my truck car hooked up because I am didn't have it hooked up, sorry. <laughs> um, then we can look at it from the side, but you get the idea. So this is like how we can get our kind of free floaty floaty shots of like smooth airplanes flying around. And we're not attached to them, you know, like they're kind of doing, the, they have a mind of their own uh, in relation to the camera. Yeah. So that's like, if I had a track I could look to the left and see them. So anyway, yeah. Um, so that's, that's a f uh, free camera mode. And within free camera, just tap A or, um, or X on the PS4 controller. Cause I came out with the PS4 variant. So all you PS4 guys might be happy. Um, yeah, and that's how you use that. So what else do I have? Cockpit mode? Yeah. Cockpit mode's pretty cool. Um, there is a way to like do slow panning shots in the cockpit. And I, I had kind of figured it out and I meant to do like a video on it for a while. So maybe that's something I can come out with, but um, you can kind of slow, you can kind of get these sort of slow shots, like kind of, but they're too fast. Um, and they see how there's an acceleration. So it's kind of janky. And plus, like, my, my uh, Toby eye tracker is, like, kind of making it stupid right now, so. But, um, there's some cool stuff we can do, guys. So, let's see. Is there any other interesting and cool cameras that I can run through? Uh, let's see. Uh, press A again. Yeah, so I'm saying toggle the different modes. So I'm doing it. Ground units. I don't think there's any ground units right now. Pickle is something. If there's like a missile in the air or a bomb dropping, you can use pickle. Uh, object free doesn't really apply unless you're on an object ground or an object in the first place. Nearest hostile unit. Wow, that's a nearest hostile unit according to the game. That's cool. Um, what the heck is that? Oh yeah, padlock closest aircraft. That's like a different method or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the tool and like I said, there's a ps4 version out that I put out so all it was is um, Because I'm the designer of the controller layout I'm able to like make a what's called a template and then I can like cross share that template in between video games or um, controller types um, so what I did is I was able to plug in my ps4 controller and then like just copy and copy paste basically the design of my layout to the ps4 controller so i didn't really scrutinize it um i'm just trusting the steam uh programming to honor what i had on the xbox controller and just put it on the ps4 controller so 
hopefully um, that works for you guys and hopefully you PS4 guys can uh, use my tool now and and as far as like guys that are not seeing my tool so there's a couple things that you got to check first of all make sure steam overlay is enabled if you don't see if you don't have steam overlay enabled you won't see this menu this will not show up first of all second of all make sure steam input is enabled um, so which uh, see I can disable it make sure this is enabled first of all um, second of all um, or third of all uh, you can uh, within the steam community layouts tab for like when you're looking for my layout in the controller tab you can hit show all layouts and uh, you know type in filming and see if you know 6.5 comes up which is the latest one that I have if it still doesn't show up then like I'm not really sure what to tell you I just think it's just straight up not compatible with whatever controller you're using I'm using an Xbox Series X controller, however, when I uh, plug it into my computer wirelessly, which is um, what I normally do, then my computer recognizes it as an Xbox 360 controller, So, and I still see my own community layout like on the um, community page, so Steam still likes it. So I think if you have any like official Xbox controller, like from 360 upward, it's going to like it and you're going to be able to use my layout. But if you have like a generic controller, there's no guarantee. I'm not really sure um, how I could do that, except for if I buy a generic controller and share it. So I might do that one day, but I really don't like generic control controllers. So just buy an Xbox controller. Um, and, you know, hopefully if you have a PS4 controller, uh, you can just use that now. So there's some options for you. But yeah, if you don't see it, guys, um, something something I can do for you. It's just something going on on your end because it works for a lot of people. So it's not it's not just uh, you know it's not just um, you. It's or it is you actually. So yeah, so just get another controller. <laughs> I guess sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's good. So yeah, I didn't I didn't use AI today because I'm really the good I'm really the best um, public speaker per se. So I use AI a lot, but hopefully you guys can bear with me and just uh, hear my normal voice today. Hopefully the tool helps you, and I don't think there's anything else I need to cover, right? I mean, looking at the the tool refer to my old video to install it but maybe use this video as like an extra thing oh yeah there's one more thing you need to freaking refer to my image input guide and I'll show it on the screen right now this is how you know the ins and outs of what the controllers doing okay this has always been available I just think people didn't know about it it's literally on my DCS user file page and that's linked in the description if you look at the images on that page, like the, the next page after like kind of the the shot of the S3 is um, the input guide. So that's that's how you know the logic of what's happening with the cameras and like what certain things do. So you guys asking about stutter, mouse stutter, I know that you never referred to that image because if you did, you would have known that all you had to do is press select and the stutter would have gone away. So <laughs> that's on you. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd make this quick video. Peace out. And one more thing. Thank you, Andre Celesti at uh, Hip On The Spot News for featuring my camera tool. Thanks a lot, man. I always enjoy your videos. And I hope other content creators find a benefit from my tool. And um, take care, everyone. God bless.